I'm very excited to be able to unload another kiln of finished work. It's been quite a while since I've been able to fill up the entire thing, so let's see what's in there and what survived. As you can see on the top shelf and a lot of these other shelves as we go through, I have been playing with these garlic grinders slash oil plates and I'm very excited to be able to get all of these to the person who ordered them. On that note, I always am excited about opportunities for custom orders or if somebody wants me to try something new. So always feel free to reach out if you are looking for something a little specific that I don't necessarily make on a regular basis. And here we have another color of those garlic oil plates and uh, these little kind of cookie things that you'll see throughout with the holes in them are just a, another thing I've been experimenting with as a smaller, easier to store option for an herb stripper. So you might see those kind of throughout here. And now we're on to the yellow garlic grinders and one of my ruffle pots that is about to go to its new home as well. In this shelf, I am definitely extra excited about just because a variety of things here. Looks like everything made it. So we have some different planters that I've been playing with, the vases, um, just different shapes and things that I finally got around to glazing. You can see a short and tall one here, working on my angular style. We have a couple more of those little mini herb strippers in different shapes that I'm experimenting with. And for these mugs, I'm now trying some smaller sizes since a lot of people don't like the giant ones that I personally really like to do. So here's just some first attempts at the smaller size. And some of my regular herb strippers where they have the little catch bowl attached. And now these new teal colors that I've been experimenting with a little bit more. And with these, I was asked to try one of those bookend style planters. So I used my ruffle style for that and pretty excited about how those turned out. Again, if I ever can make something for you that's more for what you're looking for within my range of options, then I'm really happy to play. And of course, here is my giant planter that I'm very excited about, trying to grow into different scales of work. And I'm so happy that it turned out pretty well. There's a little bit of streaking on there, but I can definitely clean it up, give it one more firing, And then on this final shelf, we have a handful more of those smaller mugs in a variety of colors, including more of those blues and teals that I'm starting to really like and play with.
We have a few more of these different shapes of herb strippers. And then to finish it off, this bird bath that I have started as an experiment into my wilderness series just to see what techniques I really want to start working with and simplicity or maybe I need a little bit more complexity in my glazing. So that's pretty fun. And to finish it off, we have five more of these garlic grinders in a more taupe color. Kind of just go along with the more earthy tones that I've been working with for that order. Thank you for sitting with me while I unload my kilns this week. If you'd like to see me make anything specific, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, it's always a ton of help if you like and subscribe.